and we're back, and we're back, and we're back. After just saving the world, killing new aliens, infiltrating their secret facilities, just doing work. These two are out of the fight for a little while. That's alright, though. We've got to do some scanning and let this stuff build, so... Uh-oh. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, a captain. Four engineers, though. These are all low panic, so that doesn't come into consideration as far as whether we're going to lose these or not. Engineers, a captain of the support variety. Whew, how are we doing for engineers right now? 37, we need more, don't we? Oops. So we can build, like, something. There's something that we needed? No, we needed the to make the Illyrium generator, which is building right now. We'll try and get ahead ahead of the game. We'll grab the engineers. Or the money though. <laughs> oh, I'm a mess right now. Chicago is going to be urban terrain. That might not be so bad. I guess probably these probably are all going to end up in some kind of urban environment. We're not bad on money, but we always need more of it. To try and keep ahead of the game. I think that's just what we're going to go with. All right. Where's his gear? Okay. Kind of got the A squad out here. We should get a. We should get a newbie in here somewhere. So we have two support. This doesn't seem necessary. What we need is two heavies. So we got one heavy, two assaults. Sniper, so let's get rid of Yeah, we could get another sniper. She's another heavy though, so that would be our second heavy. Do we not have? I bet you one of the other ones. Ah, there's our other. Okay, so yeah, we need to... Since we're going to be running two heavies, we need to level up another one. Um, and then, who is going to be... You are. I'm going to give you Arc Thrower, just in case you want to snatch up some enemies. Nanofiber Vest. Scope. Alien Grenade. Salt. Arc Thrower. Okay. I think we got a pretty solid layout right here. Frag grenade on you. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Okay, so we can just blow stuff up. 
And then you need a better weapon. Oh, laser rifle? What happened to her? Have we not built the shotguns yet? I mean, whatever. It's still fine, but we need to build those. That is unacceptable. We can do that. All right, let's see what we're working with here. Relatively open area. This is the edge of the map. This is the edge of the map. So we're going to have to push through like this graveyard, or we can push through on this side. I think we should do both. First thing we're going to do... Get our overwatch going. So we can miss it. Ew! so we can miss some overwatch shots. And these enemies push into us. Oh dang. What did I say? We were gonna miss a bunch of Overwatch shots. Okay, so that thing's definitely gonna throw a grenade. And probably in this area where it's gonna blow up that thing and hurt us all real bad. I know that's exactly what it's gonna do. So, we kind of have a free get out of jail free card with with her as far as not needing to take cover seventy two percent chance to hit it but I can also flush it out don't really need to flush it out Oh wow, did I throw the grenade at her? Oh, oh, it shot at, wow, that is the first time I've ever seen that happen. Okay. So this is kind of where you die. I wonder if we could shock it and capture it. Who's our who's our shocker? Right here. No targets within range. Also, who is our medic? There he is. Alright. No targets available? Rary. No targets. Are you kidding me? That seems glitched. But only a lot. Alright, let's take care of this one. I want to move her over here to see if she can shock this thing. It doesn't look like it's even an option to shock that. I wonder if it needs to be at lower health. Oh well, whatever, I guess we'll just put it down. It's gonna explode. 
Okay. Didn't do damage. Oh, it did do a little bit of damage. Did three to each of them. Darn. Okay. Let the aliens do their thing. Oh, you guys are on your way in, huh? Is that two mutons? Okay, let's miss some reaction shots. Yep, there it was. They've got height advantage. We're in a bit of a tough spot here. Good old lampshade, though. Let's go ahead and take a shot on that one. A. Hey. Oh my goodness. There's an ice cream guy outside. <laughs> Let me close my window so you guys don't have to listen to that creepiness. There. <laughs> All right, next. Ooh, right. We've got our our heavies here. We can, we can. Oh my goodness, this is so touchy. We can take care of these guys easy. That's why I love bringing heavies on these missions. Oh, it's intimidating, eh? And she panicked. Don't you dare. Don't you dare shoot. Okay, that's... That's alright, I guess. Look at this guy doing a little dance over here. Oh, they're all dancing. <laughs> alright. So, we were in the process of trying to get... him over here to... heal... her. Let's get him to here. Okay, do that. Um. Keep pushing him up around this corner. I think I'll bring another one over there with him as well. We'll send Disco Sork over there as well. They can kind of cover each other and have that flank on the other side. Sorry, my cat is currently in front of my face. There we go. She needs to just get here, close to him. Okay. She's still panicked. Oh man, what if she... She wouldn't like turn and shoot it. Okay. Whew. I mean, I didn't think that would happen, but there's been some funky stuff that's gone on. Okay, we know we heard some mutons out there still. So that's gonna be a problem. Oh. Ooh. Whams, here's some stuff. Let's move you up to here. Wow, I'm glad I didn't forget that. We get into a fight and don't even realize that her weapon wasn't loaded anymore. Oh, jeez. This angle is rough. I'm going to have him heal his own wound real quick. I mean, we've got the med kits. No reason not to use them, right? Where it's gonna get interesting. Should I have her cut across over here? God, 
those rats. That's so gross. E.T. Extraterrestrial. Okay, Thin Men. They're piecing out. He does have a shot on one. I wonder if we can... Fate can put this one down. Looks like it's going to be a miss, though. Definitely a miss. Okay. Let's kind of keep... Working our way up. Ah! Almost had an angle on one. Okay, Overwatch. Maybe Whams can go to here. Hmm. No angle, though. They're just too far away, I think, for him. Sixty-two percent, but he can still move. We could push him up to actually almost nowhere. Sixty-two is a pretty solid shot. Let's just... Yep. Okay, she's got nothing. So this one's definitely. It's either gonna fall back or move forward. I think. It's too far away to take a shot. Maybe. 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 And it's gone. And it's back. <laughs> what the heck? It didn't say it was on Overwatch, so do we risk it? Fifty percent chance, or oh man. Okay, there'll be a better chance of somebody else hitting it now with that hollow targeting on, so that's not so bad. Um, oh, this area is kind of small. We're already at the edge of it over here. Yeah, and this is the edge of it over here. So whatever we haven't seen yet, we're going to come up on it real quick. we got to be careful. All right, let's only have him move up a little bit more so as not to attract any unwanted attention in the middle of this fight. Still doesn't have a shot. Can at least move him up to here. Seventy-two percent. That's not bad. And that's money. I wonder if this last group is going to be like in this back corner here. There's one way we can find out. Really? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Well, then that means they have to be over that direction somewhere. All right, let's just keep pushing them forward. They couldn't be inside the building, right? That wouldn't be a thing. Surely not. Ah, it's gotta be back there.
Are you kidding me? They are over here somehow. Well... <laughs> Well, now we got to get all the way over there so we can position ourselves to mess these dudes up. Okay. Uh... I think they might be like inside that building. Yep. Let's miss these reaction shots. Oh, wow. You go, girl. Yeah, this guy's in some trouble. Oh, no, you destroyed her cover. Is this... Oh, what's he about to do? Ah, uh, yeah, you got to get out of there, dude. Dude, this isn't good. What is that? What are you doing? Son of a... What? How? What the how? Where's our shocker? There's our shocker. Okay, we can shock. We need to get that big guy. So, everybody needs to try and hit... Yeah. So we'll have one of our heavies try and hit it well, here, we can use this rocket to, like, blow open this. Oh, that is a huge explosion radius. Okay, what about this alien grenade? Does five damage. Perfect. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, whoo! Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right, shocker gal, where you at? Right there. Forty-nine percent. Got him. Whoo! We. Nailed it. Aaron's promoted to Training extra conditioning confers bonus health based on which type of armor is equipped. Heavier armor increases the bonus. Oh, cool! Deep pockets confers an additional item slot in inventory. That is also awesome. Extra conditioning. Okay, same thing. Why did she not have armor on just then? Got it. All right, we got some money. I'm excited about that. Let's spend it. Um.
laser cannons. That's kind of cool. That's means UFO tracking, Phoenix cannon, satellites. How many satellites do we have right now? Oh, we're currently building those. Okay, let's build some laser cannons for our ships. Like, it's five too many. And a significant reduction to melee melee damage sustained. If it was all damage, I might get kind of excited about that. Um, soldiers are automatically 25. I wonder if this is retroactive. Colonel. we got to get someone to Colonel. Okay. That's definitely something that can be accomplished. Oh, because we lost those, that other area, so now we only have to defend these ones. Dang. Wait, what is this bear? Okay. Laser cannon. Laser cannon. Laser cannon. Okay, cool. So at least one of those will have a... Uh, each one will have a laser cannon. Oh, wait, why is it... Oh, okay. I was scrolling too quickly. Hmm. That's good. I'm glad we didn't miss that. That could have backfired on us. At some point... All right, 375 bucks. Let's hold on to that for right now. Get back to scanning for activity. We've received a request from the CEO of a major German. We don't even have enough to do it, so sorry, no, not now. Okay. All right, we've got the satellites. We've got a dodge and an aim, huh? We have one satellite built right now. Let's manufacture one more. Still don't. I don't use pistols very often, almost at all. I know I'm the worst. Satellite Nexus. Request from Europe. Satellites. Council report. Still got a good amount of time for a council report. So, um, research. What's currently okay? One day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get that. Let's finish that up. Boom. Skeleton suit available for ma manufacture. Having reviewed a number of reports from our soldiers deployed on past combat missions, we felt it was necessary to address their concerns regarding the need for a powered ascent mechanism to scale objects in the field. With that goal in mind, this medium density armor was developed using the alien alloys to reduce weight wherever possible. Despite the reduction in overall plate thickness, protective qualities of this armor have been maintained through the use of a multi-layered composite lining within the suit. The integration of a pneumatic grapple unit provides our troops with the ability to scale objects for a tactical height advantage when needed. The micro-servo motors utilized by the system also augment the reflexes of anyone wearing the suit, proving the odds that the operator will avoid enemy incoming enemy fire while also increasing the available movement range. Yeah, we need to get one of those. You know, weight body armor with an integrated grappling hook for scaling objects. Use the build by. Okay. An autopsy on our sectoid commander. The new fighter craft is kind of. I want. Uh, I want all these things done. Berserker autopsy. 
Let's do that before we do the interrogation. Uh, we should get the interrogation over with. Two days. That's going to be done real quick. Let's get it over with. Alright, sign new research. Armor technology research credit earned. Ah, so the Titan armor will be uh, faster to research now. Okay, cool. The captive was even more violent and aggressive than we expected. How violent and aggressive did you guys expect it to be? Uh, exceeding the previous limits established by the floater and mutant species. Despite heavy sedation, it was virtually impossible to control the subject, leaving us with little resource recourse other than to increase the vigor of our tactics. After probing several regions of the captive's brain, we managed to find the appropriate stimulus to calm the beast, after which we put the captive through a number of controlled physical tests. By observing the subject's movements while burdened by the massive suit of armor it is outfitted with, we've gained enormous insight into how the invaders approach the difficult design questions associated with creating a heavy armor suit. Striking a balance between effective armor coverage and maneuverability in the field is no easy task, but this data should prove invaluable to our own efforts. Okay, now let's also cut them up. That's going to take two days. Let's get that over with. Combat stims available for manufacture. Although similar to the previously cataloged mutant species, this particular specimen is different. Our troops have taken to calling this beast berserker based on its uncharacteristically aggressive tactics in the field. Despite sharing the same physiological structure of the other mutants, for reasons yet unknown to us, the berserker seems to be consumed by bloodlust, charging into combat with little regard for its own safety. Current theories as to the cause of this behavior have led us to begin investigating possible genetic manipula manipulation of the subject's endocrine gland, or in this case, the equivalent glands that appear to secrete androgenic hormones. If the aliens enlarged or modified this action, the action of these glands, it could explain the berserker's outburst. Specifics on this creature's abilities in combat should be available when using the unit analysis view on another specimen of the same type in the field. Combat stems. This powerful stimulant cocktail, derived from a chemical found in the glands of the mutant berserker, provides a temporary boost to several of our soldiers' vital statistics. Ew, that's dirty. We're going to inject alien hormones into ourselves? Seems like a bad idea. Alright. You're next. All right, that's going to take three days. Psionic labs available for construction. After an extensive analysis of the specimen's brain tissue, we've discovered some unusual activity in the synaptic connections that may be the source of the abilities our troops encountered in the field. Although somewhat similar in physical appearance to the sectoid we previously identified, this commander variant has an easily differentiated internal composition. We've theorized that the enhanced electrical synapse is capable of transmitting nerve impulses at nearly three times the normal rate are the product of careful genetic manipulation. If our theory holds true, that means the aliens are capable of modifying even the most complex tissue at a genetic level. Psionic labs available for construction allow us to discover and develop the latest, the latent psionic abilities of our soldiers. If they have any such capabilities, using them in the field will increase their strength. Okay, so we can train people to use psi abilities. That's going to be awesome. Yeah.
All right. Well, accomplished quite a bit. Super successful mission, capturing someone, no one dying, killing all the enemies. And I think I don't think our guys were injured too bad. Yeah, they're already back in the game, so that's awesome. Thanks for watching, everybody. GG.